Pro Boxing. We are going to narrow our discussions on our local port, what happened last Saturday. The, the Logsley Professional Boxing League bounced back last Saturday at the Bukum Boxing Arena. Amazing stuff. There was some kind of, uh, here, you know, I don't know how to describe it. Was it an anticlimax or whatever? Tofa Agbesi, uh, a boxer that really suffered. He lost the fight, but he was stretched off and took to the hospital. As I'm speaking to you now, he's actually very well. And we spoke to him. He's gradually recuperating, and we hope... Agbesi is going to bounce back. We're going to show you a brief highlight of the fight and how he got injured. We're also going to take a look at the boxer who has actually set a record in the history of Ghana heavyweight fight because he won his fight under 35 seconds of the first round. And remember, Samuel Techi of Ghana traveled all the way to South Africa and won his second professional bout. Amazing stuff. We have a lot for you. We'll look at the league table, and uh, we may also give you some international news. My name is Mohamed. I'm in Lamte. Thanks so much for being part of the show. We shall be activating the four lines later in the show for you to call in and tell us your views and opinion on boxing. Now, let me introduce my guest. This is a very important personality. He started long ago. There is a young man who started boxing and because of the challenges that he's going through, because there was no support, nobody serving as his manager, he sold his own car just because he wanted to propel himself and get to the top. He was the chap who won his fight in the 35 seconds of the first round when he fought last Saturday at the Bukum Boxing Arena. Philip Tete Aye. He is known to be called Zak because he's a Muslim. His full name in the Islamic perspective is Abdul Razak. Filippo, you're welcome to the show. Thank you very if much. If I don't call you Zak, a lot of people don't know because yeah, yeah, yeah. the Philip seems to have yeah, yeah, yeah. gone behind. But that is your real name. Sure. For boxing, is Philip Tete Aye. But uh, his name is Abdul Razak. They call him Zak. Zak, you're welcome, you. welcome to the show. Thank you very now, much. Zak, you look good. Thank you. And uh, I am honored to have you in the studios. Now, let me begin. I was told that you were, you were born at Adedengpo. Is that true? Uh, I was born at Kolegono. Uh, Kolegono, OK. Sure. And my mother, uh, mother comes from Adedengpo. Adedengpo. Yeah. And father That's from? Where, uh, my father also comes from Doimu. Uh, he's a Krobo. Krobo, OK. So sure. you, 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 are, you are a blend of Ghan and, and Krobo. Krobo. Oh, wonderful. Sure. Oh, wonderful. Good to know this. And uh, so what really motivated you to become a boxer? Um, Azuma Nelson is my cousin. And uh, my, like, uh, let me say, for my kids' time, they used to tell me, hey, Abu, Abu, Oji Azuma, Oji Azuma, Bolo, but no boxing. By then, too, uh, I don't hear. <laughs> I don't hear. So I'm hot. You're hot? Yeah, I'm hot. I'm hot. Heard it. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. I'm hot. So, so when they were telling you to become a boxer, you were not listening to them? No, I listened to them. They say, I'm not no boxing. I'm not no boxing. So when I grew up, uh, my father asked me, OK, uh, Zach, what, you, uh, what do you want to do? I said, da, me, I, 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 I'll fight a boxing. Okay. I would like to fight a boxing. So oh, is that true? OK, so by then, uh, we, we, we now, by then we stay at Kolegono. So he looked for uh, his brother Muslim, okay. Muslim of his uh, hand. So he talked to him and said, oh, OK, you should register me. He, want, uh, he said, I want to become a boxer, so he should, he should, he should, he should take me to gym. So this man took me to um, Bukong. Okay. Buk so, uh, Bukong gym. Okay. By then, they have some small room we used to train there, but I can't because if I, if, if I look, I walk through, uh, through Kolegono, pass the Kole Bridge and go to Bukong, I said, no, you cannot. I, can, I cannot. So uh, we moved from Kolegono to Media. We went and stayed at Media for some time. I later came back to Accra, my mother's place, and there was a, a guy called Niadu Atadu. Okay. Yeah. The other time I went to um, Atokwashi. Okay. I went to Atokwashi and I said, oh, I want to fight boxing. A friend of mine took me there, Lankwe Wilson. He took me there and um, they, should put, they should put on gloves. We should put on gloves. So we put on the gloves and I entered the ring. Pack, 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 and I put the, uh, I knocked the, uh, the guy the down. The guy down. Yeah. And they later attempt to him and check him and he said, okay, we should stop. Really? 
Sure. So you started your, your first your first bar. Then I, I, your I first 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 part. Uh, no, uh, uh, Jamie Crapo a box and me track. Who uh, wanted to be more Sure. You know what? I got a couple fight. You can let foot to me. Pluk 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 pluk. No, let them check the beshi because by then they in kaseko actually ma. She only say Benu wa tebukum. The time I went to bukum, it was only standing. Okay. Standing. So as I stopped and came back, uh, my friend took me to a tokashi and then. We put on gloves and then show my <laughs> patapa skills there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just the patapa skills. Patapa skills. No real boxing no artistry. No real boxing. Oh, I have one learning me how to jab. Oh, wonderful. Yes. Patapa skills, no. They said, oh, okay, now I should come and register. I then who is going to register me? Nobody. Nobody is going to register me. By then, too, my father has uh, come home. Uh, his work. He has lost his work. So there is no one who is going to register me. <laughs> so there was a guy called Niadu, Atadu. Yeah, he's, he's one of the coaches. He's, he's among the coaches at okay. Tokwashi. He also stay, uh, stay in our area. And he said, they should bring me. So one day, they sent me there and he saw me and said, oh, uh, are you are you Bibio's brother? I said, yeah. He said, they said you, uh, you said you want to learn boxing. I said, yeah, I want to learn boxing. He said, oh, OK. And I should meet him at uh, his place. Um, Ghana Merchant. Ghana Merchant, yeah. yeah. I should okay. meet him at Ghana okay. Merchant. In the morning, so I went there and went and went and called him. Then he started teaching, encouraging, me, you, yeah, teaching you how teaching to box, me, move, do so, do so, bob, weave, throw jab. This uh, you see, and breaker, breaker to sometimes you do assist. Okay, that's all. And so from there, and then you became a heavyweight boxer. Yeah, and then your first fight, you won do, it. I do, I thought I do, I thought I do sense, uh, I thought I do let me fought my first amateur fight. Mm -hmm. By then, uh, I, I had a problem too with the referee. I, uh, I, I went to Wisdom Gym. By then, people were comparing. Uh, uh, Basti, Bayile, Basti, Bayile. People do say, oh, no. Zai, can, you, can, you, can you fight Basti now? Oh, why not? Why not? <laughs> really? Why not? Why not? Are you calling? What? Bastille to come out. Oh, I'm, I'm prepared for anyone. Oh, please. that is very interesting. We'll get I'm to the Bastille issue. So, so, how long have you stayed in the amateur ranks? Oh, how many fights have you got in the amateur? I fought one and, 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 and I got angry because of the referee. The, the referee, referee deducted me mass because by then people were comparing me and Bastille. People were comparing okay. me and Bastille. So, I, I said, ah, Who is this Bastille? So, let you me go only to... had only one fight at the amateur level? Sure. I said, Let me go to uh, Wisdom Gym and see. That Bastille. Okay. So as I went down, the referee saw me and said, Ah, hey, we'll go by Bastille. We'll go by Bastille. I said, Ah, Charlie, me, you can So I got angry and started talking trash to the referee. By oh, then, okay. I, I, I did not know he's a referee, he's an official. Oh, I don't, really? I don't so know. It, because of how you treated him, yeah. he brought that into in the your game. fight yeah. against who? Against me. Who and who, who and who fought? By then, it was me and some guy. I, I, I can't recall. Okay, we will name. cover that one. So now, um, the Philip. Tete Ayer is calling the bluff of Basti Samir. Basti Samir is one of the leading boxers in this country. He defeated uh, Brahma Kamoko Bukum Banku. So the promoters, if you are watching this, he is calling, I mean, Basti Samir to come out and fight him. This is going to be a huge one. And I know IMAS promotion will be in the position to promote this fight, an amazing fight. This is really going to be a much anticipated. So when did you join the Chascotti Boxing? Foundation. Oh, we uh, we started uh, Chascotti Boxing okay. Foundation. We started from from the infancy. Okay. Yeah. Oh, from the um, infancy. Yeah, from the infancy. I thought you started with some gym before you went to Chascotti. Oh, I have trained. I have trained a lot of gym. Uh, even Wadada, Wadada came to me. Uh, Wadada called me. I went there. He said, "Oh, um, we are ha we are having an uh, we, uh, an issue with Bema Kamoko. Okay. So we want to train you." I went to Wadada's place. I trained there. I later stopped because uh, by then, as I went to as I got to Adade's place, that's where I sold my car. Okay. Because the, uh, no oh, one was financing me. Yeah, I sold my car. Really? Yeah. Why, why would you sell your car? Uh, no one is supporting me because you want to become because, a world champion. Sure. And so I know. I, and I, and I How much did you sell the car? Oh, I I I, I give it to a friend. Ten thousand Ghana cities. That's hundred million yeah, Ghana cities. Yeah, ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. Even, even my friend said, oh, Zach, then this one, you have dashed me a car. Because as I sold the car to him, he said, oh, OK, for now, I'm having 5,000. Let me give 5,000. He said, oh, no, just give me 2,000. I'll come for 1,000 cities 
every month. Every month. Because I want, uh, there is something ahead of me. I want to you do something. You don't want to yeah. sort of uh, misuse the money. Yes, yes. That yes. is great news there coming from Philip Tete Aye, Zach. And uh, this is the man who won his fight last Saturday in the 35th seconds of the first round. We'll be showing that highlight. But now, let's take you back to the Mukum Boxing Arena last Saturday. We had fantastic fight. A lot of boxers exhibited their boxing artistry. And let's take a look at the highlight. When we return, we'll discuss more. So we are getting ready for the juvenile fight. And this is between Aaron Tete from the red corner and David Adolfo from the blue corner. The Juveniles who are actually taking over the ring because um, in terms of the gym, in terms of the juvenile, we always want the juveniles to have, they are always there to do or to exhibit what they are taught at. These are young but some of the big guys who will be leaving the scenes very, very soon. And that is why the juvenile boxing, so they have to be in the same, in the same ring up against each other. And they know when to go for the kill. They are exhibiting things that are, they are being taught at the training. Wow. Yellow jersey to match. And then David Adolfo has blue to match. At the training grounds here for the public to see. Wow, that is the end of the bout. Very well. So that was, that was the one of the juvenile fights. We want to just uh, whet your appetite. When I whet your appetite, I'll take you into some of the professional fights highlight that we have for you. But right about now, let me take you back to the Bukum Boxing Arena. My guess, you know, it was a fight that was a, a six rounder. Many expected the fight to go to the distance, but uh, interestingly, amazingly, the fight ended in round one. Let's go and have a look at what transpired last Saturday. And this is the heavyweight contest over six rounds. This is the boxer with a weight of 215.6 pounds. This is the man with official record of one fight, one win from the Charles Scotty Boxing Foundation under the tutelage, the former heavyweight boxer and former military officer and now the man in charge of CQBF, presenting to you the boxer, Philip Tate. And this is the boxer from the Panics Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of the trainer, Emmanuel Yabua Ando, a.k.a. Yi, with the weight of 215.5 pounds, Presenting to you the boxer who is making his debut today as a professional boxer. Presenting to you the boxer, Wahab Saido. I've already spoken. You are making fight. Touch gloves. Touch gloves. We are doing the heavyweight, and from the panics is Wahab Seydu. He is in the black and white trunks. He is fighting against Charles Quarte Boxing Foundation, Philip Ni Ayetete. He is in the red and white trunks. This, what, what a punch, what a punch, what a punch. This is a punch out of nowhere, immediately attached. Wahab Seydu, and that is it. And I, and Wahab Seydu is out. And I mean, Wahab Seydu is out. Well, no, no. Wahab Seydu is out. I mean, no, no, so, so, you can't believe say? this. You can't believe this. This is unbelievable. I thought it was going to go that distance, but I mean, you know, heavy weight punches is more than what we can see here. Do you believe now Ghanaian should consider what happened to Deontay Wilder? Because 
in the heavyweight division, the punches come in 50 kg. Mm. So the moment they hit um, Wahab, Wahab didn't see it coming. Wahab didn't see it coming. I mean, Philip Tete, the boxer was able to dodge, but he couldn't dodge the right. That was the power point. Yeah. And that took Wahab straight to the canvas. Yeah. Do you believe that in terms of the heavyweight, Ghana, we are coming up with boxers? Yeah, I strongly believe that because when you see what Philip demonstrated here, you can see that it is something he has been sitting back with his boxing gym and they've witnessed yeah. from fight night one to now and they've seen that no, this no, is no. Plan. This Zach, is congratulations I mean, thank you very no much uh, you know it's, it's, it's really unbelievable we have to check the record it looks like you have seen a record that I have never seen this before in round one 35 seconds and everything is over how did you do it uh, we didn't have that much time to train we have about uh, seven, seven weeks or six weeks yeah, but all, all, all the same, I got sick. I have to cure myself. I, I, it, it took me about two weeks to cure myself. And I came back, but uh, he couldn't, I, 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 I listened to him on the interview. He said he wanted to stop me. Hey, can you stop me? Do you know me? Now, now, now I, know, I know you are a searcher. So what are we looking forward to see from you? Yeah, Ghana should watch out for Zakiro. Zakiro is coming like Akai. Okay. Now, now final word to your fans. I love them all. God bless them. Thanks for coming to support Zakiro. Watch out. All my friends, I love you all. Cheers. Thank you very much, Zach. So that is Zach there. You heard him. You saw the fight. And I, I really now saw the punch because I was at the ringside. I never saw how he landed the punch. You saw the right hand. And that he really got, you know, his opponent landed the punch effectively. It was very, very ferocious, very deadly punch. Now, Zach, yes. congratulations once again. Thank you. But Thank uh, you were, you, were you motivated by the statement that he made that uh, he's going to stop you? Or probably you steady him and got to realize that he's somebody who cannot fight you. As, 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 he, I, as he went to... Uh, the, way the way in. He, as we went to the way in. As I saw, I, as I saw him, I said, oh, no, I'm going to beat you. You're going to beat you? Don't worry. Him. Don't worry. I'll beat you. So as the man was interviewing me, I, I, I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I said, oh, he said, oh, I, 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 I need more weight to fight this. I said, oh, boss, you know, work be normal. You me, work be normal. Work be normal. We have finished already. I, myself, I was, I was really shocked when, when Wahab, Wahab Seidu, and uh, when he went down to the canvas and uh, the referee Shadrach Akwe counted him and uh, he went beyond the counting and Shadrach saw the way he was wobbling and uh, he could clearly see that the guy is totally dazed, he's totally hypnotized and has to call the fight. So let's take our very first break. Well, while we return, we have a lot to discuss about Nate's, Nate's six. We have some highlights, and remember, Samuel Tichu also won his fight in South Africa. We have the highlights. And Ghanaian boxer Tofa Agbisi, who got injured last Saturday at the Bukum Boxing Arena, he's recuperating. We are likely to talk to his coach from the Kolibu Teaching Hospital to give us, I mean, details on what is happening to the boxer. We'll be right back. I'm going to interview Zuzum right here in my house. Hey! Look up there. Why are you using inferior pen? It was a mistake. I know check you. Acrobat too. I'm going to knock you out. I know, sir. You deserve quality. Don't make mistakes. Stop! You did the right thing. When you're going to buy a paint, don't look left, don't look right. Go straight and grab the luxury and luxury paint. No be any painting be painting. The luxury acrylic paint. Paint me champion. 
Enjoy low prices every day on phones, home appliance, health and beauty products, fashion products, supermarket products, home, kitchen, outdoor and sports products. Only on the MaxBuy app. Download the MaxBuy app now on Play Store and App Store or visit www.maxbuy.com.gh. Get quality from global brands plus up to 100 cities random discounts on your first order and free delivery on all orders above 99 Ghana cities. Download the MaxBuy app now on Play Store and App Store or visit www.maxbuy.com.gh and start shopping now. MaxBuy, happy life. I'm going to interview Zuzum right here in my house. Hey! Look up there. Why are you using inferior pen? What mistake? I know check you. Acrobat too. I'm going to knock you out. I know, sir. You deserve quality. Don't make mistakes. Stop! You did the right thing. When you are going to buy a paint, don't look left, don't look right. Go straight and grab the luxury acrylic paint. No be any paint, be paint. Oh. The luxury acrylic paint. Paint me champion. Very well, you're welcome back and you're still live on Max TV. Today is Monday, Monday's edition of Boxing Arena. I will start with a lot of issues and that uh, you saw a while ago. The man who has set a record in Ghana boxing to stop his opponent in the 35th second of round one, Philip Tete Aie, Zach Decoy. <coughs> Zach, I'm still with you and um, that, that is... Um, now, now, Zach, how did you land the punch? Did you do it del deliberately or the guy exposed himself and then you've landed it? And the calculation was... Uh, and look at I that. Guess, yeah. Ha! Is your nickname Hero or Zach? Zach Hero. Zach Hero. Oh, okay. Nickname, yeah. Zach Hero. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I was just trying to find out how powerful the punch was. Was it powerful or you just tried to test him and then he went down? No, that's not a test. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as, we, I, as, the, as the bell was rung, uh, I test him with a jab, and I got, uh, it, seemed, it seems like I got him. I tried to jab second one, mm -hmm. then he, he was trying to counter me. So I said, okay, you need two, two three punches or hey, four punches. Really? Sure. So I decided to um, throw combinations. Now, but demonstrate, as I got demonstrate one, two, it with your hand. Demonstrate. Put your hand up to date. <laughs> so how do you do it? Uh, first, I test him and I got him. Uh -huh. I said, uh, I later test him again. He was countering me. Uh -huh. So I said, oh, okay, you need three, four punches. So let me let me let, let me go in with combinations. So as I as I I I, I, I jump with a jumping hook, a jumping upper, and landed the right. I said, oh, he has got him. We yeah. are finished. And that's it. It is done. It is done. We are finished. Incredible. Oh, yeah, are finished. So wherever you are, that is it. So we are looking at. Um, what he said, he's going to demonstrate that. We're going to actualize what he just said. Now, look at that one. Look at the movement. And now this is, this is what he said. He tried the one, two. And, um, and then now the right one. Incredible. And that was over. Zach Hero. And why did you fold up your arm? Did you know that? I thought that you expected him to, I mean, got up and continue with the fight. But why would you fold? It? Does it mean that you know the guy cannot fight again? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, no, 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 no one can stand my punch. If oh, I really? said I'm, I, I, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's, it's really very interesting. Zach there in your pictures after he has won the fight. But uh, today is a special day for me because this is coming from Al Hadi Fadi Fatah of the IMAX Media Promotions, those who are in charge of the Professional Boxing League in Ghana. In collaboration with Ghana Boxing Authority, they want to wish one of the finest ladies. You know, at the Ghana Boxing Authority, she's my deputy, okay? Aram Daddy, we call her Mimi. Today is your birthday. We are dedicating today's show to you for what you've done through the process. Fadi Fatal says that I should tell you that he has really, really appreciated your input. All the things that you've done through the process till we started this league. Even yesterday, you were the one who was trying to, I mean, offer some wonderful reception to our special guests who were at the Bukong Boxing Arena. Aram Wherever you are, congratulations. May you live to be hundred. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Zach. Now we've we've seen what you've done on Saturday. 
So what are we looking forward to see in you? Okay. Are you planning to become a world champion? Sure, exactly. Exactly. So how do you become a world champion? Uh, do you have a manager? No. And I'm, I'm really surprised that Zach is telling me that he is managing himself. Sure. And uh, he hasn't got a manager. Because what I saw, and if you look at his body language, it tells you that it's a world title prospect that needs to be supported. Ghana Boxing Authority, together with some promoters, we'll see how best we can help you to be able to get to the top. He's Thank looking you. at becoming a world champion. I know that that is going to make it huge for him. Now, Zach, let me ask you about the boxing league. Before you fought on Saturday, you've been watching the, I mean, the fight. You've been there. Now, tell me, what is your impression? What would you say to the GBA and the IMAX media promotion for what they have done for Ghanaian boxes? They have tried a lot. They have tried a lot because since uh, they fought more team, I've never seen any boxing, like any boxing going on in Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, thanks to Honorable Amonikui. 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 And he's... Um, That's Ibrahim Kocha uh, Nikui. Uh, yeah, yeah. The GBA yeah, president. president. Yeah, the GBA president. I salute him. Thanks for bringing this league to life. And IMAX TV. Thanks for covering, uh, covering this league and, uh, and sponsoring the league. And the corporate board. Okay. They have tried a lot. They have tried a lot. They have tried a lot. If, if, if it wasn't and the president, the GBA president, and the corporate board. Why am I? Why am I going to fight? Mm. Why am I going to fight? You see, so it has given you the platform. Yes. So and today you are so, live on TV. Yes, yes. It's yes, likely yes. after the program, somebody may even call you that I want to manage you. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a great. Experience. So what advice do you have for the young up and coming boxers who are also fighting on the boxing platform? Uh, if 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 they say they want to do boxing, they should they should do boxing. And their parents too must also support them. Okay. Because it's a it, it's a it's a great work and a hard work and dedication. So if if you are not getting support from anywhere, my brother, you can't do it. Mm. You can't do it. You need I told you I, I sold my car because of boxing. Boxing. Yeah, because I know what my returns will be more than my car. Okay. 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 You see the reason why I sold my Very car. Well, yes. Well. So sure. parent, parents can even sell their property to take care of their kids who are into boxing. My second born, I have two kids. Mm. My second born is a male. He's, he's in a boxing game. I've put him in boxing. So my mind is, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. And no one is helping. So, okay, and God has blessed me. He has given me one son. Okay, let me let me send him to the boxing school. Okay. So he will also learn. So what I know, I I I, I will teach him. So he's also a boxer. He's also a boxer. And be an obligation again, you know, mommy, a one may be gonna know you on a him while then chat. Oh, trying to box and you cook about no boxing. It's a no me on here and you own no boxing. She is any one more back. Because in Kayak, you know, former Ghanaian international Samuel Seku for the mother sold their television, their only television, to take care of him and even bought him a brand new boot, a football boot. Today, look at him. Well, no, no, you're in the middle of the game. 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 Ke o follow ko ye ko e kaka ke o mene mene ya kagbo mo ni e no box simple neke 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 na wa ke wa un o nu misu wa wa la ke si wa un ke je wa gbe ke biya si ni wa na no ni kan wa iya ke o no jino ni sanu wa fi o nu misi o ke ife a un ni na ke o ife a fota a un ne hi ya mi inkan biya wa mi in support ole sometimes ye ni e a school ye ke ni wa je ye ni wa i je biya ni transportation po je shwa mo ni ni si la ke si Square gun. You have to look at the square and get to me. Okay. Oh, no. You're a fan supporter. 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 you Support more bikini. Kaka ke di bono fi ne hi ya bo iwo ohani bikini we fi. Okay, okay, okay. That's great. Me tell you again. Eko kwe GBA. O check be Ibrahim Kuche ni kwe. Ni bi ne jishini fi one. O na ke Ghana boxing tomoni ni e yangu fi walo. 
e ya no wa de nchere 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 ja geti eh da ne na ba no kenyi kwa match day 1 e fans crowd any bar e tu mo match day 2 ne kwa match day 2 fans say any bar e tu mo match day 3 o be ni twa ga si improvement in ya no ona no fi ano ya no fine ga ni kwa match day 6 ne le hun e tu mo match day 5 ma match day 6 na ni fe enquiry say me wi aka me pin ya me te de the when day because of you yeah, the yeah. track, I cook a basset Samir at all, but we are careful about no better by you are there. I in the basket, some eh, Guadiacucho Covibi. Okay, only say streets before what take. Okay, I'll be a Gabiano, Wizom, Becker, what ye are off there to what you mean. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. See, I think I can care what Mokobaba, I want to fain, who fain, when you want no top rank boxing. Fi wode nche unwo ke wode ba komo ebi ene ni me komo unya agbona ne sani wa nuna nube gana ye be wamo unwo ke wohi so ebi ene ke fi na kanu e be ti e wa ke o o ya yu mo kono ke ba ha o nupa the G B president e una no nibi ni chuo ke nibi mi ni yu mo ke o ke hale eh no ni minta ni ke hale ji no mo ni minta ni ke hale ji e bo mo de wa de nche de nche e bo mo de ni I I think akesi ke le no une tano vision be ni Ina ni bi vishe ni yo ingbe mi boxi ni e e ti e wo boxi e ma shitu bi na atwa ball e Ghana ona ona ball e ni atwa li ke na gbe na nyede nchi mi best sponsorship na boxi ni wo jeshi ne tu fa di ke enes ke wo unupa ni yo bi ene enes tichi e wana sponsors ke han li ke ne boxi wana ke e nangpe numu e malibu e nangpe wa na I think akasi sponsors e le pi baba pi baba. Baba, because ke me me small boxing wa me small boxing me ku me poni sebi tafati je gane pe je gami je si a je neke asanti region bi ne ke ni bi ne ina ke shamu a me nyanya boxing wa because me ba waje me age ge neke me ba agbe ne waje gambi le unwe ram ife bile leke julo kuwe june ba juwe bile ni manu ne sani shuwe julo ba juwe ram ida ge ram ife jo crowd e fe wo america ba re na many me won ba ko e tv ko e tv many many nyen na the canaba she na i think akeshi eh wa mo le pa ko pa ko ni sponsorship ba ba mo okay fair enough o wo mo ne sanu wo mi awon yen wo training wo no ojogba hun where is this like where is bit what talent e wo show talent ojogba na na wo kamoko ke en wo mi e e na le no ko cho a cha gbe show sanapa da bi sanapa nu ele ehin kra a cha gbe show no si nu ele nu nsi nu nsi nu nsi ahun nu nsi be ni league ne te no ne i think ka ka mo fi am on training na no league ne league ne le a cha a cha gbe si go be mi e now okay okay very well zak um viewers wherever you are you still live on max television as i indicated in my preamble uh we we really had some anti climax last saturday at the bukum boxing arena and so uh, this is the fight that uh, brought about some kind of controversy. Uh, the boxer in the black and white trunks got injured. So let's have a look at the fight and we more because we have the coach who's on the line with us who's going to tell us more about his current situation. Ha. So this is the scenario that happened last Saturday, and Coach Sule is on the line. Coach Sule Mante is the coach of the boxer Tofa Agbisi. Hello, Coach. Hello. Coach, how are you? I'm fine. Coach, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why on Captain Amit? Why on you? Okay, now uh, for the for the for the benefit of some of our viewers who might not understand the gun language, now tell us where are you now? Now I am I uh, uh, I am around uh, Jamestown. Oh, okay, so uh, we want to ask you briefly: How is the condition of our boxer Tofa Agbisi, who got injured last Saturday? How is he doing now? Now he's fine now. Now even the doctor is saying. They are saying maybe to, uh, tomorrow or tomorrow next they will release me. Oh, I see. Now, could you give us an idea what have they discovered about him that caused, I mean, his injury? Uh, for now, the doctor has not said anything to us. But I said the, 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 the boxer has to rest 
a bit. That is what they tell, they, they, they tell us. Oh, okay. Very well. So, uh, now, uh, can you tell us how is he doing? Is he communicating with you? Has yeah, he yeah, taken he some, has he taking some water? Has he eaten? Hello? Yes, coach, I'm listening. He's communicating with everybody. Okay, has he eaten? You know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, even yesterday, he ate uh, two, two boxes of kenke with hey, fish. Two boxes of kenke with fish? Uh, yes. Not even one, not even half, two? Uh, he's two. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, what, what about this morning? This morning, I uh, drink a lot of cocoa, and then they, 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 they come and inject him with some medicine, and they, they said the medicine will let him rest, will let him sleep more. So this morning, he's sleeping more, more, more. Oh, wonderful, more Coach. Coach, you sound like a dietitian. <laughs> Thank you so much for this exclusive, because you saw the pictures, how, you know, his opponent, the, the, the young chap, Isa Inusa from Boko, Sabo Zongo, how he delivered the bombshell of the punch. Now, Coach, finally, yeah. what message do you have for us? Because some of us are very worried. Uh, some of us had sleepless nights and all that because we know it's part of boxing. That was when he, he has been stretched off the arena and then he fell again in the process before he was taken to the hospital. Now, Coach, what message do you have for us to cool down our tempers and then give us some excitement about our boxer? So far, yes, the message is, I'm, I'm just telling everyone to calm down. Now, my boy is recovering small, small. So everybody has to be down and then pray for, for him for the next recovery. Now, Coach, what are the lessons that you have learned as a trainer? Because a lot of people have said that you should have stopped the fight on time, especially when he complained of the shoulder twist. But uh, you've decided to allow him yes, to fight. What are the lessons that you've learned? Come, yes. You see... When the doctor entered the ring, and then the doctor said uh, the fight must be stopped, I am the, the one that will ask the, the doctor why the, 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 the fight must be stopped. But I didn't even say anything. Then I am, I am just, uh, 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 I, I, I took the chair. I wanted to put the chair inside for the, for the doctor to sit down. And then the, the, the uh, uh, referee also came in and said, uh, uh, can you can you fight? Can you fight? One says the boss said no. Then the second the boss said yes. But you see the time frame it's like two three minutes. So I think no. Let me see if the 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 the, the boss uh, the the injury is still there. So I want him to do and see if it is, if he cannot continue. Then I'll come in and then I will stop it. But the first time is once the doctor has stopped. He gives you them some red listing. Then the 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 the, the, the referee have to stop the fight straight away. Okay. You see? Thank you very much, Kosule. And then you saw in round one, and uh, it looks like it was Tofa who sent uh, Inusa down the canvas. So it was really it, an interesting in fight. So we've learned our lessons, Coach Sule Mante. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your, you know, your updates. You have cooled down our tempers, and then I hope yeah. that. Uh, so far, you know, Agbesi will, will be well very soon. We wish him a speedy recovery. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you, Amir. No, very well. I think that, Zach, I know you, 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 it happened before your fight, right? Or your fight after? After my fight. You fought. It was after your fight that yes, the incident occurred. Yes. So how did you feel? Oh, I, I feel nice because I know, I know uh, such, 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 a, such a thing can ha happen. Happen in boxing. Mm, yeah, yeah, so. happen, you know, oh, Nake is normal. Oh, Nake is normal. Oh, Chifanku. Because if, 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 if I'm a boxer and that thing happened before my fight, to be frank with you, I mean, the steam will run out of me. I wouldn't have gotten the energy. Oh, no, you must fight. You must fight? Yeah, you must fight. Oh, really? Yeah, you must fight. But uh, as, as the boxer got injury, they have to stop the fight. Because okay. When 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 he got injury and they, they, they attend to him, they check in. I don't I don't I, I don't I don't know who said he should come and no, fight. No, that is what Coach Sule said. You know, there was some miscommunication because when the physician said that the boxer should not fight, he agreed with the physician. But he before he could get the two that the boxer would get seated, the referee just came and asked the boxer, Can you find the boxer said no? And again the boxer said yes. So the referee ushered him to get in and continue with the fight. So that is what the coach is saying. So it is miscommunication. But once once the referee, uh, but, but uh, once the boxer said no, first he said no, I can't fight. The mm. referee must stop the fight. No, the referee did not hear that exactly. That is the point. 
The first one, he asked the coach, said he said no, yes. and the boxer once again said yes. Once he said no, then it means it's they have no. to protect you because okay. we are fighting a fight another day. Okay. So once you said no, the referee must stop the fight. Okay. As you see, when he uh, when he later ca uh, came back, he can't chew the jab. Yes. He, ca he, 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 he can't chew the left hand. What he chew is the right. The right. You see, so, so that, was how, no. that was how come he exposed himself. Yes. And then Issa was yes, able to land the punch. One, but in boxing, when you get injured, you are injured. We are fighting with the hands. And once you got injured in the, in, the, in, uh, in the arm, you will feel it in the heart. Your heartbeat rate go high. It, it once beats. you got an injury yes. on your shoulder. Yes. So that, that I don't a, know that, if someone has experienced. No, what you I'm are you seeing. are a very experienced boxer. You've 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 given all of us that thing more or less like a take-home package for us to understand that in terms of injury, when a boxer got injured, automatically the person needs to call it a day. Boxing, you see, there is one thing in boxing that I admire so much. It is just that boxing, you need to fight today and fight tomorrow. Never think that you are fighting today and that is the end. No, you must fight today and fight tomorrow. So we want to thank Coach Sule for the updates. So our brother Tofa Agbesi is doing very, very well. He's recuperating. This morning he took cocoa. Last, that was yesterday. He took two boxes of Kenke and fresh. That was what the coach said. So that tells you that at all intents and purposes, the young man is up and doing we want to thank IMAS, we want to thank GBA and the physicians and the staff from Ghana Ambulance who are there to make sure that this guy is protected, he's been revived and, I mean, resuscitated. We thank them so much. Now, let's take a look at this young Ghanaian boxer, Samuel Techi. You know, he became a professional boxer and fought against uh, Kamaru Dini Boyfio. He won the fight by technical knockout. A lot of people raised their eyebrows thinking that it was a mixed match. He traveled all the way to South Africa and he fought against uh, Medlen Kosi Sibuso. And that is the fight. And Tichi won the fight in round number two by another technical knockout at the Emperor's Palace in Johannesburg in South Africa. Interesting. So you can see the punches coming from the Ghanaian boxer who won a bronze medal for Ghana in Tokyo. And this is the man who is currently under the tutelage of Ike Bazuka Kote, former world champion in Ghana. He has been managed by the son of Ike Kote, Mustafa Kote. So that is Teti in the white trunks. And uh, no, Zach, you can see that this guy is gradually coming up. Zach, what, what will you say about uh, Samo Tichi? Oh, it's coming up. Like, yeah, he's an upcoming boxer. Upcoming boxer. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I like him. I like him. You I like, like him very style, well. Yeah. Very well. And Ike Basuka Kote, and you, as you can see at the corner, is the man in charge of the boxer, and he won that fight in round number two. I think that for me, I am really excited. Before he traveled, there was some some kind of miscommunication between his team and GBA, but that has been resolved. And yes, uh, there was a juvenile fight yesterday, and uh, and uh, now this this is the fight that I, I would always talk about, and and uh, it was an amazing day. And after this fight, we almost have about four juvenile boxers who came to the ring to exhibit some, you know, uh, you know, they, they want to tell us that they have the bragging rights. So now let's enjoy this fight and when we return we would be discussing a lot about this fight just look at the young chap in the black and white trunks and red top he's a chap to watch third round third he round. won he won by a third round technical knockout in the person of um but let me give you the verdict the verdict that we have for this fight is a draw so i put our hands together now before i come to you guys guys congratulations Congra congratulations. Thank you. Are you attending school? Tamana Bailey School. Oh, I see. Which class? Three. Class three? And then you are a boxer. Why do you want to do boxing? Because I want to be a world champion. You want to be a world champion? What is your full name? Amu. What is your name? Comrade Kofi. Comrade Kofi. Congratulations. How are you? I saw you oozing with blast through the nose, but you were able to manage it. Congratulations. Where do you school? Bishop Mid Primary School. I see. Which class? Class 4. Class 4. Oh, okay. I see. Congratulations. You guys fought very well, and I hope to see you guys becoming world champions, okay? okay. Now, now, Mohammed, why, why are you here? 
I want to tell Prince something. Hey, you want to tell Prince something? What do you want to tell him? I want to tell him that why do you want to change, uh, challenge another, uh, uh, another purpose and leave me? Why should you come to challenge me? Now, now, come, come. Now, Prince, he, he said that you are afraid of him. Why must you come and want to fight someone, not him? Because your fight ended in a draw. Why do you want to go and fight another person, not him? Oh, well, it's not nothing. I want, it's not everybody that you have to fight to sir. Okay. So you want to change your opponent? Yes. Mama, he said that he wants to change his opponent. No problem, he can change. He can change. So what is next for you? Anybody. Anybody. He said that you can go and fight to anybody, but he's waiting for anybody. Are you ready for that? Yes. Okay, listen, gentlemen. These are kids. This is more or less like the replica of Zunzum Azuma Nelson, Egbo Suka Kote. And we have one of them here with us. Let's all of us wish Honorable Neil Lante von der Poy a happy, happy birthday. Shall we put hands together for him? Honorable, congratulations. Congratulations, Honorable. Prince will fight him, and then Joe Labby will fight. Oh, really? So, Honorable, has, Honorable, who is going to fight against who? He is fighting against Mohammed, and then Prince is going to fight this guy. Wow! So, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Nila Tevandapu has made it. So, we will say it. Now, can you, can you fight Mohammed? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Mohammed, can you fight him? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Hey, Prince, this man, can you fight him? Yes. Are you sure? Can you fight him? Yes. Okay, let's put our hands together for them, please. Well, this is exactly what we all need to get us encouraged and motivated. In life, it's all about you having a vision. When you have a vision, you need to propel yourself and get to the top. These young guys, the way they started, Zach is just telling me that most of them, if they had gotten this kind of uh, tutelage, they would have been propelled to get to a different level by now. Zach, I know you've really enjoyed the kids. Sure, 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 sure. And how old is your son? Uh, eight years. Eight years. Eight I years think you need to get, get him closer uh, to, I mean, Charles Corti can help to bring him to fight so that we'll let our viewers know that this is the son of the man who came to the studio. Now, let's sure. activate the phone lines now. You can call us wherever you are to share your views and opinion on what we are doing. I have a very important personality in the studio. I'm Zach. The full name in boxing is uh, Philip Tete Ayer. He's a boxer who has set history record in Ghana. In 35 seconds of his fight in round number one, he defeated his opponent. It was an amazing day. Earlier, I also told you that the boxer who got injured, Agbisi, he has recovered. He's currently at the hospital. We spoke to the coach, Coach Mante, who said that the man is kicking. Even yesterday, he took two balls of kinky and fish. Incredible. So we are waiting for your call. 03 310 Call and share your views and opinion. Now, Zach, you spoke about how gradually Ghana boxing is picking up. Most of you guys have gotten this kind of, I mean, propellers to push you guys. You guys would have reached far. Sure, I know. Because you more your kind. Many most of I mean, I ask school. That is the difference. I ask school. You are casting boxing. Oh, na ke ba wa me. Me mali. Eh, no more. Eh, wa fang ba wa te Germany. What the yeah? What the Germany? What the eh school ku Germany? What the Germany? Uh, mm. course, no fear, or fear one course mm. with two sports. Okay, one course, care, oh, yeah, uh, science, me, oh, fee, mini po, um, chemistry, mm -hmm. we are chemistry class, pet, eta, oh, fee, no, 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 I no, this sports. I think, okay, I can see, exactly, what about the animal line and coach K from media? Hello, coach K, yes, boss. Good Co morning, boss. Co coach K, how are you? I'm doing good, boss. How, how, how is media? Every, media is very good. Okay, let's hear you, coach. Hello, coach. Oh, oh we've lost coach. Coach, kindly call back. I wanted to ask him, when are we going to get a boxer from media? Zach, we're saying that coach is square. Yeah, call a chemistry, a chemistry class. But mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. feel no other subjects. You don't know your music, a music class. But mm -hmm. you know. Oh, if you're to make it be a the cake, huh? 
other games now me feel ke o fe music ni o fe music e be ora sports no wa no choose wa no choose mo two sports either you play basketball and okay. mix and, martial arts i'm picking papa from across central hello papa eh abi lan te chale te te papa anya anya boy we do it way cho chale anu guna ka no chale mi ni ano Chalebali, I question seven. Me, 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 Financial support. If anybody wants us to get the uh, heavyweight uh, World Cup in there, uh, it's enough support, Zach. Zach, you go buy a bonu. Oh, fine, yo. You go buy a bonu. Wow. Bonu ma jobu. Oh no, kelo bile fe oh no. Oh, fine, yo. Bonu ma jobu. Okay. All right then. Yeah. Papa, Papa, thank you very much. Papa, if I can, you must know you in a in a in a. You must be like me, me ko. You only part here. As Papa just said, you know, boxing is a very huge and lucrative venture. If you have a business, you are an investor, you can just come and pick up a boxer. You give him the right tutelage, give him the needed support. And I'm telling you, the, I mean, the dividend that you're going to reap at the end of the day will be just incredible. Let's assume that if Papa is your boxer, he's going to fight for, let's say, $2 million. And you have just about 30% or 40% of $2, two, $2 million. How much are you going to drive home? Now, other than Paul, Pakosi, I know he will know Zach. Hello, Pakosi. Hello. Yeah, for me, Papa, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. Yes, exactly. Yes, madam. Oh, good. I'm going to be here. 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 I'm going to be the fact I will share us top of guy in 35 seconds now. Oh, who is saying? Oh, me last time I share, but I share highlights, man. And I and 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 of uh, Enosa, it was an amazing day. It was, you know, I mean, more fear more than It was. She one thing about boxing. I said, you know, Nima Kebuji Zak. Most of them are in discipline. Most of your colleagues, you know, it, they are just in discipline. Sometimes they call Nima and Jani Wabu. It's an important to ban a tree. She mokwe kaple entani kaple abapi. Ona it's an important to ban a tree. Money care about Wabu. Let me go back to the line and speak to Isaka. Hello, Isaka. Yes. Isaka, how are you? How are you? Tell me what you're doing, Isaka. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Circle. Circle, how are you? Okay, one more what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to talk to you. 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 Ini kerja yang kita buat kerja. Kita istana kerja juga kerja juga. Agar kita buat ke outside deh ni buat ke. Besok tu saya main noni. Amba ada interview. Amba mesti buat mesti kuli mo. Ni amba nak kerja dah ni. Ina kita. Waktu kita buat kerja main interview. Mesti pot agak. Agar nak ayuh blok. Punya kerja. Kita cuye. Ni anu awu 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 langgur jelah ayah show. Okay. Ini macam problem ni ni. Okay. Pot agak. Jangan pot agak. Mesti kerja. Amba ayuh blok. Okay. 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 Oh, no, I was alone. Yo, Isaka, Isaka, thank you so much. Okay. Okay, okay, Isaka, thank you very much. On that note, I want to thank Zach Philip Ayat for coming to the show. My name is Mohammed Amilamte. Just take a look at the league table, the Logs Professional Boxing League. Now, Frisco, Sonia, Sonia having, having lost the fight last Saturday, and now Frisco has taken over. Natas Kote Boxing Foundation, they move up to Ted with 15 points, Atokwashi 13 points, Seaview 10 points, Black Panthers 9 points. 
Now the league table has changed. It's, it's incredible. Panics nine points. Akotoku Academy seven point. Palm Springs four points. Seconds out four point. And then wisdom, wisdom, wisdom has moved up. You know my producer is really excited. One place up, and then the gym. They've got the four, the two gymnasium fought. Wisdom in the gym, and then Wisdom won the fight. I think uh, Aziz won the fight for them. My name is Mohamed Amilamte. On behalf of my producer, Lawrence, and then Alexi, the guys in the studio with the camera MCR, thank you very much. Once again, Aram Daddy Mimi, she's my deputy at the Ghana Boxing Authority. We thank her so much for what she has done, and we hope that, uh, you know, she'll live a very good life. I said that I want her to be 100 years before she passed away. Once again, my name is Muhammad Amin Lamdi. Thanks to all those who called, those who watched the show. We are back on Friday. Stay blessed, but then be good. I'm going to interview Zuzum right here in my house. Hey! Look up there. Why are you using inferior pen? It was a mistake. I know check you. Acrobat too. I'm going to knock you out. I know, sir. You deserve quality. Munyade, munyade. Don't make mistakes. Stop! You did the right thing. When you are going to buy a paint, don't look left, don't look right. Go straight and grab the luxury acrylic paint. No, be any paint, be paint. Yo. The luxury acrylic paint. Paint me champion. Max TV, sports, entertainment, and more.